Alrighty everyone, so we're here at King's Island. It's Winterfest time! We got Squeak Doo here, and yeah, we're heading in for Winterfest, and we're gonna see all the fun things that they got going on at Winterfest. They got safety uh, announcements, those can be fun. Yeah, you can't bring your pocket knives to Winterfest. That, that, yeah, that's not very jolly, is it? Yeah. So, yeah, that wouldn't be very holly jolly of you at all. So, yeah, we're heading into Winterfest. No scare zones, only cheer zones. No. Be happy. Be happy. And no haunted houses uh, or anything like that. And. Yeah, weather today has been, it started out really nice and warm, but now the temperature is um, plummeting fast. It should be chilly for winter fast. It, it should, yeah. Like, this morning it was 50 degrees, and by the time we leave tonight it's probably going to be 30s or something. So, yeah, but look how pretty everything is right now. Winterfest is pretty, so... We're going to hang out and enjoy some Winterfest tonight. Beagle. One note on this Commodore Plus 4 will send you to a faraway land. everyone so this is the international street in full-on Christmas mode you aren't gonna have any uh, characters but you will have some like Christmas actors uh, hanging out and yeah yeah we've we've recorded Winterfest before but we're doing it again so if this looks samey yeah it probably will look samey but you just you can never get tired of that view you know that is some good view. So, yeah, we're going to um, hit up the restrooms, and then we're going to the Coney Mall area to do um, the Mistletones. That's always a good time. So, yeah, I mean, you just, the Eiffel Tower has a Christmas tree. It doesn't get better than that, and you got the moon there, the moon, the Eiffel Tower. It doesn't get more beautiful than that, does it? Alrighty, everyone, so this is a cheer zone. It looks like this year it's like toy themed. Um, at the King's Island Theater, it's like Tinker's Toy Factory. Toy Factory. It used to be Snoopy, but uh, this year it's uh, Tinker's Toy Factory. So if we get a chance, we'll definitely try to check that out. But yeah, look how nice and pretty it is. There's the bear. There's the bear. You know, it's funny. Daylight saving time really is stupid. Because if it weren't for daylight savings, we could get, like, this kind of lighting for Haunt. And then the scare zones can start up earlier. But, I mean, this is beautiful. I mean, yeah, no one's going to come out at you and say, Merry Christmas! Happy Holidays! Happy Hanukkah! Merry Kwanzaa! Etc, etc. So, yeah. This is nice. They don't have delirium running. A lot of rides don't run for Winterfest. Um, it, we are going to do Shake, Rattle, and Roll tonight, though. Yep. And freeze our keister off with that. That's uh, always a thing we like to do. But, my gosh, like, delirium goes very high and very fast. So, yeah, you don't want to ride that in winter. No, that would not be fun. But, uh, yeah. This is some good times. Alrighty, so new for 2023, we got Adventure Port. The myths of ancient civilization and its mighty city carved out of stone have lured travelers from around the globe to a bustling port for more than a century. So, okay, cargo look. Oh, that looks like fun. Yeah, and then, like... Are they revamping Adventure Express? No, Adventure Express seems to be staying. Soul Spin. Ooh, that looks fun. Okay. Nice. So, 
Yeah, we'll need to... Uh, yeah, I don't know, I might, I might be taking a day off in the m middle to uh, come enjoy some uh, adventure port here. Uh, we'll, we'll have to see. Uh, yeah, that, that is sounding really nice there. So, yeah. And now we're on our way to the Mistletones, which I have just been informed if you went through Planet Snoopy would be a stupid way to go. <laughs> yeah, so it's a good thing I have Squeak Do doing the navigating, because I'd be like wandering through Planet Snoopy asking Charlie Brown, like, hey, where are the Mistletones? <laughs> and Charlie Brown would be like, good grief, he really is a blockhead. Alrighty, so it looks like Coney, uh, Kilmart here at Coney Mall has been transformed to the Coney Gas Station in the Skylab Cafe. Yeah, and it's got a little vintage car. Oh, it looks so nice. Just be careful when changing the tire. You don't want to make any fudge. Yes, yes. Yeah. Yeah, we're, we're kind of Christmas nerds a little bit here, so... I yeah. mean, we went to the Christmas Story house. We did, yes, yeah. Instead of the Rock and Roll Hall of it, Fame. Yeah, like, yeah, if we had more time, we would have done the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame, but, like... Yeah, it's like either that or Christmas Story House. Christmas Story House, easily. But yeah, the Mistletone stage is right over there. And yeah, you get some nice kind of old timey decorations. This is Tinseltown. This is Tinseltown. Yeah, and further back in Coney Mall, I'll show it if we go um, around the northern way. It's kind of more, I guess, can not really candy can. I don't know what you would call it. Uh, I'll show it though. Uh, it's where they have like a light show. It's kind of a light. light. Yeah, synchronized lights, I guess. But this is like more vintage, oh, old school. Yeah, you got some vintage trees and some vintage decors. We, we got a little bit of time before their show begins, right? Yes, yeah, so we should. Yeah, they start at 6.30 and it's uh, 6.12. Okay, yeah, so, Mommy. me and Daddy, don't copyright strike me, please, oh my gosh, you copyright striked Hans because I straight up used, uh, paint it black in there. Yeah, so, we're gonna go ahead and, you got friends at the restaurant there, and over there to the left, like, oh, look at those vintage decors. And there's Shake, Rattle, and Roll. We'll be doing that tonight. I love that one. And some vintage trees blocking your way to Windseeker. And kids, don't be running at your park. This is why we can't have nice things. I'm trying to run tonight. <laughs> you know, yeah. I'm trying to do the 100-man battle either. <laughs> we might have the 100-man brawl. We'll, we'll see how it goes. But, um, yeah, just look at, like, the vintage decors. It's a good time. I feel like I'm rambling a lot on this vlog. I don't know. You're just so overwhelmed by the I'm, fun. I'm overwhelmed by the fun, yeah. So, yeah, but these are some vintage decors. It's nice. And we're going to enjoy some mistletones. They're a good time. Hello, everyone. Welcome to King's Island Winterfest for the mistletones. I'm Crystal. I'm Candy. And I'm Coco. Are you girls ready to sing tonight? Yeah, yeah we are. <laughs> Down to the village with the 
So we just did the missile tones. I'm convinced that they're robots designed by Coca-Cola. Isn't that robots in the 40s? The, uh, you know, um, but they're swinging robots, yeah. So, yeah, even though they didn't have robots in the 1940s, you know, like, yeah. And then it's like, oh, wow, these really fun, good singing girls. We Every time we hang out with them at Christmas time, they're always having us drink Coca-Cola, you know? So, um, yeah, so we did that. We did Shake, Rattle, and Roll. Now we're going back through Coney Mall. And these are some of the other decorations they got. Um, half of Coney Mall is Tinseltown, and the other half is kind of this, like, vintage, old-school feeling light show. And that really big stuffed animal there next to Santa Claus, I don't know if it's a dog or a bear. Is it a bear dog? Dog bear. Dog bear. He's so yeah. Big. I think he might be a bear. Let me know in the comments section, guys. Let's have this debate. Is he a dog or a bear? How would you even get him home? Yeah, how would we get him home? We got a sloth yeah, like, here. And, like, rent a wheelchair for him. <laughs> yeah, yeah, go and um, uh, rent a wheelchair and just That's wheel your like bear. I don't know. I mean, well, maybe a little. Uh, yeah, might be a little insensitive there, but um, yeah. So, Mannheim Steamroller in the background. Please don't copyright strike me. You guys are my favorites, so please, you don't copyright strike, uh, you know, your fans. Yeah, ever since we were little kids, we listened to you, so you you can't copyright strike us. But lots of decorations at Coney Mall. We got a nice elf village here so he's just chilling and we got some stars so Winterfest it's festive and fun it's a good time alrighty everyone so we made it into the Tinker's Toy Factory show yeah. massively long line I don't it know like, it was just, yeah, it was positioned weirdly. Yeah, like yeah. usually with queues, they like give them, they're in an area where they have a lot of space, but right. they, it was in a very, area with very little space. Yeah, it was in a, an area with very little space, yeah. Hopefully they'll let me record a little bit. Um, if they don't, they don't, but I'll let you know what I thought of it. Yeah, if they, not, we'll describe it we'll, vividly. We'll describe it vividly, yeah, but if they don't say, you know, no photo, that tells me photo away so yeah should be a fun time looks pretty interesting Get back. 
Hey everyone, so we just got done with dinner at and Prancer's at Pizza, Prancer's right, Pizza there. right there. And we also did the Tinker's Toy Factory. Yep. It was good. I prefer uh, Snoopy and the gang. They had snow. They had snow, fake snow. And Santa threw his back out and the elves were freaking out like, what are we going to do now? But um, the parade is getting ready to start yep. in at any second. It might start while I'm in the middle of Yammerin, but... It could be right behind it you. It could be... I, I, don't it go this way towards us? I don't know. I think it does. Yeah. I don't know. But, um, yeah. Yeah, that show was good. Tinker was good, but it it I wasn't like Snoopy. Candy. Do what? I like Candy, the elf who wanted the hippopotamus. Yes, I did not record the hippopotamus, but yeah, she wanted a hippopotamus. And at the end, they had a nice hippopotamus dancing, so yeah, that was fun. Got she got her hippopotamus for Christmas. But, yeah. The parade's going to start at any second, and... If you count yeah. these people, it's already started. Yeah, if you count these folks, um, the parade's already started. Yeah. So, um, yeah, we're going to have... like Platform Converse. I've never seen those before. Platform Converse? I've seen those a couple of times. I don't I don't know who I'm actually looking at there, but... Oh, she's uh, long gone. She's long gone. But pl I've seen Platform Converse. Yeah. I never get out, so... There we go, yeah. Yeah, so we're just hanging out, waiting for the parade. Should be a good time.
Alrighty everyone, so this is the Candy Cane Lane cheer zone, but interestingly here, we got like little placards describing the history of Kings Island. 1974, they go wild with Lion Country Safari, a new animal preserve. It can be enjoyed from a new air-conditioned monorail. Arias Carl Relinda walks a 1,700-foot tightrope above the Coney Island area of the park. So we got like all sorts of like nice little history things. This is the 50th anniversary of Kings Island, and yeah, we are not 50 years old, but we remember when it was... It's older than us. It's older than us. We remember when it was run by Paramount. They had the Tomb, oh, yeah. they had the tomb Raider tie-in. Uh, I don't think they did anything for Tim Burton's Sleepy Hollow, did they? They might have had a poster for it. This used to be like a really like chill area. I'm probably yeah. the only person who this was my favorite part of the park, but like they would have lots of posters for Paramount movies with yeah. like spotlights and played like the movie scores. Yeah, the Sleepy Hollow would be featured in this area like, if it was featured anywhere. It was a very elegant area. Yeah, it was I like to walk through it as much as possible. Yeah, it was elegant and uh, kind of chill, you know. So, um, yeah, and then uh, we had the Hanna Barbera IPs for a while. And that was yeah. okay, I guess. And then now it's a uh, Snoopy. Because Snoopy is cheap. You had Nickelodeon for a while. Nickelodeon would have been the Paramount yeah. tie-in. Yeah. Yeah, but now Snoopy is cheap. Yeah, so... Do you feel like we don't really use Snoopy as much as we should? Yeah, we don't... Like, yeah, we don't do too much with Snoopy on this vlog. area, it could be Snoopy in a cowboy hat. Yeah, we don't... Oh, yeah, you mean like Kings Island... Marketing Snoopy, yeah. Yeah, like we ourselves definitely don't use. Yeah, we don't use Snoopy to his full potential. Yeah, no. But um, Kings Island doesn't use Snoopy either. Like, to which Snoopy would say, "I'm not here just so you can use me." Um, you know, I am a beagle with my own faculties, so don't just try to use me. I mean, if I were a kid, I would be licking it all over. Yeah. Yeah. I'm lucky that we weren't like kids during the Rona. Yeah, I am very... I feel like we would not have made it. Yeah, I was... Lo yeah, we're lucky that we weren't kids during... And God bless parents raising kids during all of this stuff, you know? Like, whew, it would be a challenge. I would have definitely have been a handful. I mean, I, I wasn't the smartest kid. I... I had a lot wrong with me. I still have a lot wrong with me, but it was, like, way worse as a kid, I guess. I don't know. But that's Candy Cane Lane. We're going to see some other stuff, too. Alrighty, everyone. So now we're approaching my favorite of the cheer zones, the religious cheer zone, which was not in this area the last time. I don't know. They, this is one that I feel like they move every year. But we got Hanukkah, you got your dreidel, you got your menorah. Hanukkah hasn't started yet, so it ain't lit up yet. Um, there's your Kwanzaa candles. There's the Kwanzaa candles. We'll uh, get a better look at that. And last year we could not find the nativity. You would think the nativity would be with the Hanukkah menorah and dreidels and the Kwanzaa lamp and... Uh, you know, you would think it would be with all of the, the, these uh, similar, uh, I guess, what's the right word? Uh, Religious artifacts? Ar ar artifacts, uh, relics, holy and venerable things. There we go, holy and venerable things. I'm eloquent tonight. Where is the nativity? Is that it over there? Let's see. Yeah, we had we could not find the nativity last year, so yeah, we, yeah, it it just don't make no sense to me. So we're looking for that nativity. 
I'll let you guys know once we found it. Okay, so we didn't find the nativity. Um, and again, I'm like last year, I'm not saying that it's not around. I'm just saying I couldn't find it. But here's the elf uh, that we see at Halloween Haunt. He's now in a Christmas mode. I feel like they could have made him and like us all. I feel like they could have made him a little more Christmassy, but I don't know. I What do I know of design, you know? Here he goes. We're in trouble now. We woke up Everest to the enormous elf. Hello, everyone. My name is Everest the Elf. I'm not your average elf, as you can see by my size. My job is to protect Santa's toy shop and all the other elves. The other elves tell me I'm the funniest elf at the North Pole. Let me show you what I mean. What do you call an elf wearing earmuffs? Anything you want. He can't hear you. What do you call cutting down a Christmas tree? Christmas chopping! How do sheep in Mexico say Merry Christmas? Please! Navidad! <laughs> I crack myself up! Ooh. Yeah. Aww. That. Yeah, don't quit your day job there, uh, Everest. Yeah. Alright, so, the nativity scene, we don't know where it is. Um, it could be in Planet Snoopy. We haven't gone to Planet Snoopy tonight, and at the rate we're going, we probably won't make it to Planet Snoopy. So they do have a nativity stage show near Planet Snoopy, and if they don't have an actual nativity on display. It might be because they already have the show. Uh, we missed that show, you know. Yeah, there's just, there's not enough time at Winterfest, you know. Maybe you guys should buy a um, season pass and uh, come to Winterfest on many times. Maybe King's Island should pay me. I said that at Haunt, and but I stand by this. <laughs> Alrighty, everyone, so we are here at the uh, International Street Fountain. The Eiffel Tower is purple and beautiful, and we're ending our Winterfest with some blue hot chocolate. It's really good. This is a signature thing that you got to get at Kings Island. It's basically the blue ice cream recipe, their world famous blue ice cream recipe. Done in hot chocolate style. In the Paramount days, it used, or the Hanna Barbera days, it used to be Huckleberry Hound sites. Yes, it was Huckleberry Hound theme. And um, we also got Mommy some tea cookies because she loves tea cookies from Graders. It's a uh, Graders uh, restaurant in there. So, um, yeah, that's, they make the hot chocolate and the tea cookies. I'm not the biggest Graders fan, though. I saw like, people in there eating ice cream. Yeah, people in there were eating ice cream. I call I call those people freaks. Um, mm, that's good blue hot chocolate. Anyway, my camera battery is getting ready to die. So thank you guys so much for watching. It was a wonderful time at Winterfest. Yeah. We love ourselves some Winterfest. Um, yeah, lots of good memories. It's definitely worth coming. You should buy a season pass and come multiple times to Winterfest. How many times? Come many times and pay me, King Sign. Rent thing. rent the igloo. Rent several igloos. If you're the sort who would rent an igloo, post a comment and let us know yeah. why. Yeah, let us know why you rented an igloo. Yeah. But anyway, camera battery's about to die. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. You know you're the best fans of any YouTuber in the world. Merry Christmas, happy holidays. It's time for our holiday graphic. Bye!